Hi, welcome to the Perry Rise Chess Spectacular Vlog. My first ever Perry Rise Chess Spectacular Vlog and possibly my last. So my intention for this particular vlog is to follow the adventures of myself, my brother James, my friend Des, Frank and Dave as we travel to Des's house in the Perry Rise area of London for a chess tournament where we will be partaking in the inaugural Perry Rise Chess Spectacular. You join me now as tournament day is upon us. And as you can see, uh, overnight conditions uh, making uh, this walk a bit more trying. Also, um, overindulged in a few beers with the boys last night. Perhaps unwise the day before going into um, what is a, a major chess tournament. Um, but um, all in all, looking forward to it. Absolutely buzzing for it, to be honest with you. We'll have a few games of chess, a few beers with the boys afterwards. I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a quick talk through the um, the contenders. We've got um, Des playing on his home patch. Certainly, I think the home advantage is going to play into his hands. He's got no travelling to do. Um, conditions will be in his favour, similar to that of... Um, that uh, obviously infamous uh, 1972 World Championship match between Spassky and Fisher. He'll definitely, you know, do everything that he can to get an edge and use those uh, home conditions to his advantage. Uh, you've got the young, the young kid, uh, Lucas, Frank Lucas. Um, he's one to watch for me. He's, um, he's I mean, he's. He's, at, he's definitely had the measure of uh, myself, uh, both myself and Dave in our last uh, few outings. So, um, yeah, definitely, definitely a contender to keep an eye on. I think the bookies have, have got his price wrong. Uh, then you've got James, the relative newcomer. Um, but progress has been made at um, a considerable rate for him. He's regularly contending uh, over the board with uh, myself and on lane he's having some uh, some good close games against uh, Dave um, uh, talking of Dave Dave the clear favorite um, an underachiever in the in the chess world um, clearly uh, a chess prodigy um, with um, oodles and oodles of experience and to, to be fair, I mean, this is like, he should, what, what is he doing in this tournament? He, he, he'll feel like he's underachieved, you know, because when you, you should be talking of him in the same breath as, you know, Kasparov, Carlson, Stainings. But instead, he's playing with, you know, a load of chumps that um, make more blunders than they do good moves. Hi. Welcome to the pre-match preparation for the first ever Perry Rise Chess Spectacular Championship, hopefully not the last. Uh, the boys should be here in uh, a couple of hours uh, and I've just been um, getting things ready. I'm at home, uh, literally, I'm, I'm hosting the event, so hopefully I've got the home crowd behind me. They've always been good to me here, at, uh, here in the Perry Rise area. So... I'm thinking that might do me some favours in the championship itself. I'm not among the favourites, I'll be honest. Um, probably rank outsider, but I'm just interested in having a few few beers with the boys. Um, yeah, and having a good time. I'll give you a quick tour of the arena itself. So you can get an idea. We're just in the back of the stadium here. We're just about to enter through the tunnel. And uh, here we are in the arena itself show you the two tables table one over here um, probably the superior set the superior table everyone will probably want to play on this the very much the center court of this particular arena here in Perry rise here's the uh, second table court number one to the uh, the other center court uh, you know the set the set's not that great James is supposed to be bringing in another one there's already been a bit of needle about it um, in terms of, you know, James saying, oh, oh, we don't need three sets. And I was trying to say, well, you know, people might 
probably game if they're out. Oh, no, oh, maths. Oh. And then Mark's just had a dig at me about that set looking like it was from a Christmas cracker. Um, so it's always a bit sour, really. I'm going to try not to let it affect my my game today. Anyway, I better carry on with the, the preparations and um, rejoin you later. Some pre-tournament pub chess. Five minutes on the timer. Just arriving at the uh, Parry Rise address for the... It's not a venue I'm familiar with. Not a venue that uh, I've played chess at before. But uh, yeah, all looks pleasant. What do you reckon, Dave? Yeah, reasonable lodgings. Um, I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be tense. I think friendships are going to be going to be tested. But uh, looking forward to the challenge. Cheers. Frank Lucas, with the black pieces, appears to have taken first blood with Des Torpy's white bishop. And as you can see, this is a classic example here of Frank Lucas playing the Nydorf variation of the Sicilian. <laughs> Uh, I should have explained earlier that the competition, competition has taken a round-robin format where all players will be playing against everybody once and then uh, a point system, three points for a win and therefore the winner of the league automatically qualifies for the final with the remaining four players playing two semi-finals and a final to who will play the league winner. So round two... Des and myself, joint top of the league at this stage. Plenty to play for. And you join me here now. Early stages in round two. The match, Frank Lucas with the white pieces. Fresh from his defeat to Des in round one. And Dave with the black pieces. Fresh from his defeat by devastating checkmate within four minutes by myself. Oh, head lens. <laughs> <laughs> and the other round two match between Des Torpy, fresh from his victory in the first round, via checkmate against Frank, and James, who sat out the first round, now with the white pieces, feeling the time pressure. Currently in play is James against Mark. Looking pretty tight at the moment. Material about even. Dave has just mullered me in a record-breaking 1 minute 51 seconds. Which I believe puts him top of the leaderboard. Frank, yet to score. Uh, myself on three points. James and Mark equally on three points, but with a game in hand. Tense times here. Cheers. Uh, round four of the round robin. You join us at, on centre court. The game between Mark and Frank. Frank has a uh, vice like grip on material, but very much running down the clock. Claret is imminent on this game. Very congested on the board. Dave's slightly ahead on material. In fact, significantly ahead, I would say. I fear bloodshed any moment. All to play for. Cheers. Talk us through the scores, please, James. Um, well, Mark, a resounding win with uh, a perfect record. Four games played, four wins, 12 points. Unequivocal. Um, Unequivocal. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> Clear. So you join us in the kitchen with um, Mark. Hi. Hi. The victor of the round robin uh, first round of the inaugural Perry Rise area chess tournament. Talk us through your first round performance. 
Yeah, I'm pleased with it. Um, got a good early win against Dave, um, which just set the tone really. From there, um, I had tough games against uh, tough games against James, Des, and Frank. Don't want to take anything for granted. Um, just take each game as it comes, and uh, yeah, on to the next one. You confident about a, a victory? I mean, you've got a bye now. You can sit down, have a rest. Yeah, well, um, I'm going into going into the final in in good form. Um, I've beaten everyone here, so um, yeah, hopefully, I don't I don't care how I play. Um, so uh, yeah, just looking forward to it. Any any words for your fans from the Perry Rise area? Just thanks for coming down and supporting me. Um, it's always it's always great to get a win for uh, for travelling support. Um, so uh, yeah, they've supported me through all four wins so far. Um, I know I'm not the most popular popular player in the Perry Rise Perry Rise area. Rub a few people up up, up the wrong way and that. But at the end of the day, it's only chanter. <laughs> Dave, a few words on your round robin performance. Um, yeah, pretty happy. A good, a good recovery after losing in embarrassing fashion to Mark. An early blow. Game. Yeah, that was an early blow, but I'm, I'm pleased with the way I recovered with three, three solid wins after that. Mm -hmm. So I can't, I can't blame too much. <laughs> James, tell us what's just happened. Uh, you and I were involved in an epic battle of wits, um, which I won marginally in the end. If you care to look at the look at the board, there's the final. I believe there were maybe less less than two minutes on the clock on each side. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had about a minute and a half. I had about two minutes. So yeah, um, I'm lucky to be through. Skin of my teeth, but. I'll take it. So you Wins have the, a win. You have the honour of playing young David Stainings, the child prodigy in the semi final. Yeah. The winner has the honour of playing this man here. Attraction. Really cool. Um oh, what's this one? The semi final. But yeah, I can imagine it was amazing. Yeah. Clash of the Titans. Twenty minutes, is it? Welcome back to the grand final of the Perry Rise Chess Spectacular. David versus Mark. Some dispute over the time of the tournament. Frank, James and myself on the losers bench. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> well, we've had a great time. And we're lovely blokes. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> the cunts play the final. Good luck, gents. Oh, sorry, James. It's all very serious. One slip up. Yeah. The whole weekend hinges on this. <laughs> your command of the English language might be, you know, far superior to mine, but your command of being a human being is, what? is it absolutely that? fucking diabolical. Is it that? Yes. I haven't contributed towards the vlog yet, so what did you think of that latest comment from Mr. N. Nichols? Uh, uh, remind me of the comment, please. Totally unfair. I can't remember what he said. No, me either. <laughs> he said you were, that me and you and Frank were such chubs. You didn't even have to... Well, that he I, just I, move his pawn. Yeah, yeah I've, I've, I've got massive disrespect. I've invited him to the, to the Perry Rise area. <laughs> he's... he's, he's Disrespected the the whole tournament, I feel, yeah. and he should be stripped of his silver medal. What's he get a silver medal? Frank, what do you uh, exactly. what do you think of that latest well, latest outburst from the snowballs? I I used to like playing Mark, but now that I I I feel like there's this underlying resentment. Yeah. I'm, uh, Mark, in, in, in the interest of fairness, you have the opportunity to defend your comments. The right to so, reply. What comments? About you don't have to pay attention to playing these guys because they're rubbish, which is basically what you said. Yeah. 
And uh, do you want to do, do you want to retract the statement? No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what well, the morning after the night before. Just off to uh, the local Greasy Spoon cafeteria to get some breakfast. And you'll notice there's um, there's only three of us. There's Dave. And uh, there's Des Desmond and uh, myself. Where are Mark and Frank, Des? This is um, absolutely outrageous behaviour. I, I was woken to the sound of a, a fist hammering on my door about five minutes ago. Oh, we're leaving. We're hungry. We're bored. We're leaving. Um, as you just pointed out, they come to London, free bed and board, and I wasn't even thanked with a, a cup of tea this morning. And as you can see, they haven't waited for us before heading off for breakfast. Um, nearly a word to uh, tell us they were going. I mean, I'm, I, I expect better of Frank, to Absolutely be honest. Absolutely disgraceful behaviour all run. Yeah. I, I feel, yeah, I feel, like I said, I feel like Frank has been, has been led away from us. Um, I, I, I think the Perry Rise area was... Um, had some kind of effect on him. Yeah. Can I uh, point something out here as well, James? There's a, te a text message from, from Mark saying, I'm leaving in five minutes, with or without you, and then the C word, which I won't repeat, you know, because there's people of, people of all yeah. ages. Yeah, totally watching. unnecessary. Um, I'm effing starving. That, that's it. So right. It's not, um, not the most pleasant chap in the morning. Yeah. A few beers at mine, yeah. do the first, <clears throat> the first round of games and going to town, go to the casino and then do the uh, semi-final and final when we get back. So that was that, the Perry Rise inaugural Perry Rise Chess Spectacular, uh, a wonderful tournament, wonderfully hosted by our friend Des in the Perry Rise area. Um, congratulations must, of course, go to Dave, the winner. Um, unfortunately, due to some technical issues, we didn't actually manage to get any footage of him winning it at the end. Um, I'd like to say thanks very much to Des for uh, letting us all stay at his house. Um, we had a great time down there. Um, some great chess was played. The tournament itself had it all. It had uh, quick, uh, quick checkmates um, and dramatic uh, last-minute uh, results. Resignations are plenty. Um, it's utterly blunderful, but um, at the end of the day, Dave was the deserved winner, albeit the favourite, but he had the pressure of being the favourite on his shoulders. Everybody expected to, to win it from the off, but he still pulled through and went away with the title of the Perry Rise Chess Spectacular Champion. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.